Okay, I just want to make a video, short video, to explain um, how many people you need to vaccinate and, uh, and uh, also how strong the vaccine has to be. Um, when the, the coronavirus first started, uh, it was doubling at the rate of, um, it's doubling every three or four days. That's when I was in China, um, Italy, UK. It was, it was doubling every, every three to four days. And um, at the start of this year, uh, the world got that number down to about 77 days. Um, since then, we've got it down to 172 days. And the reason we've got it down is because we um, use masks. We, we, we know that you catch it indoors, so we've avoided those sorts of you know, places and things. So we've learned a lot. Because we've learned a lot, because we're doing a lot, we've changed three to four days doubling time into roughly 172. You can see in some countries it's doubling, it's doubling faster. Let's uh, show some more here. So I'm going to pull up uh, UK 185. It's because they're getting a lot of cases lately. In fact, if you look at the UK, it's, it's actually doubling. It's doubling every about 10 days. It's gone there from 11,000 to 24,000. And it looks like something like 10 or 11 days. So uh, what I wanted to show was um, was this graph here. Um, this is a graph which basically tells you uh, how much of the population uh, need to be vaccinated uh, depending on, on the efficacy of the vaccine. Actually this is giving you the uh, max value that an, an efficacy of a vaccine can handle uh, depending on the coverage. C is the number, it's the proportion of the population that gets the vaccine. The R value for the coronavirus that came out of Wuhan was about 5.6. Um, then when the English variant um, hit us, uh, it, it, it multiplied by uh, about 1.4. So it went up to something like eight. Now with the Indian variant, uh, that our value is more like 12.5. Okay, it may be a little bit high, maybe it's a little bit a little less than that. But what you can see here is with 100% coverage, means everyone gets the vaccine, including children, children essentially, that uh, a vaccine with an efficiency of about 90%, is what the Pfizer one is again, so the Indian, in fact, a little bit less than that, you can get up to an R value of around 10. And we want to get one higher, so we really need a vaccine that's even better than the current Pfizer vaccine is, is against the Indian variant to get to an R value of about 12.5. And then, even then, 12.5 is here, 12.5, you would require 90% of the population to be vaccinated um, with, uh, yeah, sorry, you would require 95%, 96% of the population to be vaccinated with a vaccine that has an efficiency of 95%, and at the moment we don't even have that because the efficacy the, the, uh, of the Pfizer vaccine to the Indian Delta variant, um, B16172, is only about 80 per percent. But the Indian uh, variant is helping us in actually, in actually eliminating some of the other more dangerous uh, variants at the same time. But this is the key point here. Now, there's no way AstraZeneca has and the efficiency of around 62% overall. They extended that by making the, 
the Egyptians is 12 weeks apart, that means that for three months you've got, uh, like, got any use of vaccine for, 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 for protection and all. And then when you do get it, uh, after 13 weeks, it's actually really low, it's not healthy enough. But you see, if we're really low, uh, it gives us the vaccine. And even with 100% uh, coverage, means everyone takes it, you can only protect yourself for a R value of, of somewhere less than three. Not, not 12.5, so you've got no hope. So everyone who's taken the AstraZeneca vaccine uh, has done it, uh, has done it, and sorry, it has been a complete waste of time. Complete waste of time. The other thing also is that you've got to be vaccinating. If the Pfizer vaccine protects you, well, if you can prove it, the Pfizer vaccine has had an efficacy of 95% was to protect you for nine months, then you want to work out at what rates do you need to vaccinate those people in order that after nine months, you're vaccinated the whole, the whole, the whole population because you're going to have to start to re-vaccinate the ones that you started with, all right? Because the effect of their vaccine is worn off. They they need a uh, booster shot. And if you work that out, because you need to get two shots, it turns out you have to vaccinate in a in Australia at 190,000 jabs a day, and that's permanently. That's permanently just just to keep your own people uh, vaccinated. If you're going to allow tourists in and out, you're going to have to keep track of when they had their last shot and when they need another shot, right? And this is this is just just to keep the status quo. So it's actually crazy. So this is why I have always said that we need to go for zero COVID. Every country has to go for zero COVID. Every country can do it. Just to be really um, lazy about it. Let's see if I can pull up another graph here. Bob uh, Dylan playing here. This one here, you look at um, Spain, number of cases per day in Spain. Last year, they were so low. They were low, like a few hundred cases. They could have, if they locked down there just a little bit longer, for an extra few weeks, extra few weeks, they could have wiped out the virus and then they could have um, quarantined and stayed at zero COVID. Right, but of course they opened up because they wanted all the tourists to come in, all the money to come in, and off it went. The, the coronavirus took off and had this really big wave where they went up to 20,000 a day, and then they locked down, they opened up again, thought, no, no, we're going to control, then it went to 30, 36, 37,000 a day, and it comes down, they keep in a real big lockdown, they opened the bit, closed the bit. And now they're getting ready to open for the summer. This curve is going up really steeply, and it's going to go very steeply because we've now got the Indian variant, which is spreading a lot faster. It's got a, it's it's more con, 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 contagious. It has a R naught value of 12.5, uh, whereas measles was uh, 13, and measles was the most contagious virus that we ever had. So this is very close to it.